Testing, one, two, okay. I'm coming through now. There's the game. Okay, that was weird. Why did it reset all of my sound settings? What was I doing? Oh, I was drinking someone's blood. Hey, how's it going, Tyler? Did you drop goodies? I have all these bullets, but I don't use any bullets. Mine does that now and again. It's really frustrating. Oh, there's a loot. One shilling. The game is not very generous with its, uh... Large beast. Oh, I do not want to fight that. Oh, do I have to fight that? Looks like I might have to fight that guy. Shadow cast. I've already got two kitties in here chilling. Don't unlock villains. Bills? Sneak attack. Hello. How you doing, Dane? Now that you can hear me, thank you for the sub! Well, let me warp up top. Um... Oh, hi. Oh, look at how much damage that guy did in one hit! Lewis thought he lost. Huh. There's a letter inside. A letter, you say? Can I read the letter? Barrett, there's no easy to say this, so I'm going to be blunt. We can't keep on like this, at least I can't keep on like this. If Joe ever finds out about us, about his wife and his best friend, we will crush him. And he will kill you. We had some good time together, but let's face it, I'm never going to be your Jane Lewis. You know it, and I know it too, so I'm ending this right here and right now. If you agree to, with my decision, I'm sure we'll find a way to be happy again. You, Joe, and me in time. And then the most important part of our story will have been preserved. Till that day, I wish you'd forgive me. Goodbye for now, Jane Peterson. Wait, did the wife actually... 
What happened to the wife? A love letter from Joe Peterson's wife addressed to Barrett Lewis. Who should I give it to, I wonder? Oh. Who do we give the love letter to? What do you guys think? Should we give it to the... Should we give it to Barrett or the husband? I think we are gonna fight this guy, though. Useful in here? Hey, kitty cat. You come to snuggle? Now you come to step on me? Step on my car here? Step on my toss? I guess I didn't need to go all the way around. I could have just gone and fought that one beast right off the bat and called it good. Oh, um, who do we give the little low? Oh, wait, no, I, I can get out this way. Did a really good job of making this part of the town a maze. Curfew. 9 p.m. by church curtains. All citizens must keep off the streets. Citywide curfew and wear your mask. Interesting. Is there anyone over this way? Vampire hunters. Or a vampire hunter. Kitty cat. Oh, what's this? I wonder. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Music girl, do you want more pets? No? What you doing, kitty cat? What you trying? Huh? What you doing, cutie? Hi, just my nose. Ah. <gasps> it is Nurse Crane. The strange man was at the door with a pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. 
I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. He's got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. I haven't gone down this way yet. Oh, those are rats. Yeah, let's have some rats. Give me a rat. Why can't I eat this rat? Oh. I have this thirst for blood. Be nice to go into the next fight with nice. Juicy full blood bar. Door's locked. Well, there's more people here in Whitechapel than I need to meet, but where are they? We did a ring off that guy's butt. The rats respawn. Listen, bro, if this is how we regain mana, this is how we regain mana. Stop whining. I have this thirst for blood. Blood. There's for the blood. There we go. Up here, Benjamin Palmer, Albert Palmer. Anyone around here? Enemies. There's more and more of these bloody leeches every night. Aye. But the guards recruit more and more every year. Are there any people around here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. They appear we should be fine. What's up here? A locked door. I cannot enter. Seems odd. Um, can't I go in there? Yeah, let's find it. Actually, let's find a safe house real fast. Maybe where is the safe house? I get so turned around. Reg, hello. How are you doing, buddy? I get so freaking turned around on these maps. Um. Okay, here's the hideout. How you doing, Greg?
There's a lot of work for you. How are you? I have been tired and have been dealing with headache on and off all day. So it's been kind of a rough one today. Hey. But got in here. Got a body. Got a cabinet. Got another body. Got money. Lots of blood on the ground. Is this my safe house? Another body. So. Yeah, I've been taking like a little, I've been taking ibuprofen and Tylenol and stuff. Try to get it, keep it at least under control. Yay, okay. Bye, Katie. Hideout, it's full of loot. And there's the bed. Oh, no, this goes outside. So. I actually had a meeting with a psychiatrist and a therapist today, so that was fun. I got prescribed a new medication that may help a bit with the sleepiness. So. I didn't want to go outside. All right, this loot. Oh, this is loot though. Okay, let's see. Ah. We have one, two fatigue, a migraine, three fatigues, cold and bronchitis, cold, ain't nobody got time for bronchitis. I'll make another fatigue. I can't make headache yet. So green is healing, red is blood. Okay. Can I upgrade the sword? I need three more common handle parts. What about... I can't upgrade this anymore. Oh, this could be upgraded multiple times. What did I need for this one? I think it was uh, common handle parts. This is tiny common handle parts. <laughs> Does 23 stun versus 18 stun. How do I equip it? I could switch over to a... I've never used the guns in this game. Well, I start now, right? Um, G to heal. It's like a lot of healing. Yeah, I hope I have enough remedies to heal everybody. Or at least heal the things I can heal. I think if I progress the story more, I'll be able to heal headaches. And we want to heal them because it makes their blood tastier. I think I have at least two headaches and one migraine that I need to heal up. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna- I'm gonna eventually drain everyone dry. Is my, uh, my goal.
Oh, that's how I get up to my hideout. Okay. You're wearing a Mario shirt. Did you know a new Mario game is coming out tomorrow? Oh, really? I haven't really played a Mario game since I think the Wii Mario. Good evening, Harry. May I come in? Even my dreams are soaked with glue. Hey, yo, emo boy. So, I'm not bothered. Um. Do you remember when Barrett Lewis was close to your family? To your mother? Not really. I was too young. But I remember it was a happier time. Mr. Lewis was funny. He often had dinner with us. Why are you sad, then? Because it hurts to remember a time when my father used to laugh and smile. It hurts to realize he's as sad as me now. Alger's Fury? Super Mario 3D. Yeah, I didn't play that one. How was he towards you? He was nice, I guess. He never forgot my birthday. He always offered me books. I liked books. Um... Wait, no, I don't want to mesmerize you. Do you need you. any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. You'll feel better with this. But I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of... He's so emo! Goodbye, young man. Take care of We're just gonna skip through a lot of the healing dialogue. Oh my gosh, she's so emo. So, this guy here, Barrett, on the left, apparently was having a thing with this guy's wife. And I'm gonna give a letter giving proof of it, just right in front of him, because you know. Something, sir. You never lose your focus, do you? I found this box in an abandoned building nearby. I believe it belongs to you. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is mine. So, you faced those loons that roam around there. Extraordinary. I suppose I was lucky. Luck is a commodity round here. Yours should be properly rewarded. About this package, it's not just tools and trinkets, is it? I want to be rude or anything after your kind gesture, but it's none of your business. Wow. Joe Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I'd known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a decent boxer. Good one, even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. It's never easy to find a new path in life, especially after the loss of a loved one. But crime is certainly not the best option. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody would be fool enough to stand against a wet boot, boy. Hmm. What do you know of Harry Peterson? The boy seems so fragile, not like his father at all. Harry's a good boy, but he spends most of his time complaining. He's had it tough, all right, but he needs to grow a pair. That what troubles him, exactly. Well, despite being his father's son, almost everything, I think. He never wanted to come to Whitechapel in the first place. Hates this place more than most of us. Barrett, you had an affair with Joe's wife, didn't you? Yeah, I did. She's the only woman I loved. My first regret is that she stayed with Joe after Harry was born. The second is I never shed a tear when she died. Wow. Wait. Do you mean... you're Harry's father? No one will ever know for sure. And it's better that way. And I don't believe I'd have been all that bad as a dad. It sounds like you were would have been a really good father. Did you ever try talking to Joe? Never. But I suspected he knew everything, even without knowing it. And he decided to make me pay in his own way. Mm, the 
Look at how tasty you are. Right then. Do you have any common handle parts? You do. Oh, it doesn't tell me that this thing can be disassembled. Alright. Investigation succeeded. Wait, were you sick? No. You're sick, though. Hi. Good evening, Doctor. Can um, check Do out. you need a... That would be nice of you, Doc. If you persist in investigating... Thank you, sir. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything. I think it's been released on multiple platforms. Epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the? I haven't really seen people play it a lot. Involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital, Rithrin. Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious. Never goes out. Doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He has no relatives at all? No, except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him. But it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Bizarre. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Interesting. Find the mailbox and the letter. Okay. Let's see if we can talk to Nethercott. Was there something up here? Huh. Sometimes there's these places you can jump up to, but there's nothing in them. Oh. Find the mailbox. Darius Petrescu's letter, my dearest, most beloved children. I'm so sorry you've not heard from me in a few months. The situation in London has been difficult. It may sound selfish and silly when you and my children are still living in a country consumed by war, but there's also a war going on here in England, a war against poverty and against injustice. Where I never intended to fight despite my advanced years, so this is why I'm writing you today. I won't be coming back to Romania, which means I won't see you again before I die. Don't be sad, my darlings. You're grown up now and have the children of your own. We know the sacrifice we sometimes must accept to make the world a better place. This one I make now, to feel useful one more time. Wish you a long and happy life, kiss my grandchildren for me, and remember that your father loves you all the way from this cold, damn country. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Running, running, running. Is it really locked? It's locked, all right. They're one open from this side. Oh, clean Dark Souls now. What's this? Oh, that's a level fourteen. Hi. Hello again, Miss. Do I have anything new to say to you? No. Very well. So 
I need to find... Oh, I know where Nithercot is. Where is... Oh, Darius. I know where Darius is. Benjamin Palmer. I need to find Albert Palmer again. Where were they at? I cannot enter. You best funerals. And we are playing Dark Souls. I just unlocked a shortcut. Okay, where did I run into those guys before? Pretty sure it wasn't down below, because that place... Interesting mark on the ground there. I know they're in here somewhere. Well, this is the exit to Whitechapel. Scan for enemies. Hey, this is weird. This is the entry to the one place. Where are these guys at? Oh, a hideout. Nice. I know they were somewhere along a walkway out of this area, I think. More and more of these bloody leeches every night. I getting really tired of listening to these guys talk about leeches. Ta-da! I'm here. shooting from. Oh, there he is. Freaking vampire hunters. Oh, is this old area considered Whitechapel too? Oh man, there's more vampire hunters. Level 15, whoa. Uh, I don't think I want to mess with the level 15. Well shoot, where were these people at? I first came in Whitechapel along here. There was a beast here before. It's locked, all right. I am very. That's one problem I'm having with this game is I can't find my way around very easily. I don't know if that's just my own ineptitude at finding my way around places, or if it's all just designed very oddly. Oh, wait, who are you? Never talked to you? Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. But be quick. 
though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time, until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Oh, you've got fatigue. Do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London, and you could be exposed, or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't like you asking questions. You can put your own life in danger, that's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? <laughs> if you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health, health issues. issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. Hmm. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Wait, where is she? Apparently those two are related somehow? I still need to find Benjamin Palmer. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her, but I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania like me and many others. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Mm, okay. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Hey, where am I? Okay, I'm by the church. Where the heck was... Where the heck was Benjamin? Is there a map of all the citizens in the game? Let me check real fast. This doesn't say where they are.
I don't care about collectibles. I want to find Whitechapel citizens. Here we go. No. Did tell me where they are? You find him wandering up and down the alley between Albert Palmer and Loretta Swanborough. Ben has a migraine, which you probably don't have the ability to cure. Oh, true. Because we first entered from here, so I didn't. I wandered back through there and I didn't see them. Where the heck did they go? Oh, they're near Loretta. Okay. Nope. Ah! <laughs> I hate how I can just add a marker to the map just by clicking. Okay, I've added, I added a custom marker off the map that I can't get rid of and it's gonna annoy the heck out of me. Monsters back here. Can't go that way. I just never caught. So I've got a cure for you. Good evening, Mr. Nethercott. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Uh, let's give you a check. Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But, sorry, no, never heard of her. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Oh, okay. I can treat. Oh, I can't treat. I can't even treat Benjamin, so I shouldn't worry about him. I'll leave you alone, sir. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Ah, oh, yeah. Shortcut porn. Mr. Petrescu, 
Just one minute, please. You again. Go away. That's Mariah's level two required. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. Help. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Can I treat you now? Ah! Don't make me regret this, he says, and I'm gonna loot the place. Ah, uh, yeah. Oink. If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. Do you need some help, Mr. Petrescu? I am very tired, but that is all. I don't need you, Doctor. Well, I think you do. Take this, and you'll feel better. Free drugs from an English doctor? <laughs> it must be my lucky day. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area, Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Petrescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Oh. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Huh? Did you refuse to publish Richard Nithercott's previous works, Darius? Yes. His manuscript is as pompous as he is starched. Now there's a man who loves the sound of his own voice. You could have told him so. As a great writer recently said, politeness is the most acceptable hypocrisy. Hmm. Tell me everything you I do. Oh. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. 
Dorothea and I shared many ideas about this country and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. It is not the country I fought for. My homeland is not a feast, Doctor. But I still see a dark future ahead for my people. Interesting. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Oh, I have all his hints. Oh, uh, but I don't have enough mesmerize. I couldn't drain him even if I wanted to. Oh, what's this? Money! Uh... Gen. Oh, what's this? Eight figures of the Vicolas. Many journeys, exploration. So somebody was looking for traces of vampires. The island of Santorini is considered to be the most vampire infested place in the world. The Vrykolitas are specialists of the vampire hunt. According to Lucky, the Vrykolitas is a dead person who does not decay. And she'll have a million complexes as long as he's gorged with fresh blood. Not enter a house without knocking and getting response. Garlic makes him flee. Not, he does not consume under the sun, but his skin blackens. He can change into a wolf and other animals. What struck me the most is the same name exists with small variations from Mediterranean Sea to the Balkans. The Greeks call him the Vrykolakas. Bulgarians and Macedonians name him Varkolak or Varkolak. Serbians call him Verkoldlak. Yes, Verkoldlak, a name so familiar to the Volkud we know today, my dear brothers. Your words give me chance. Personally convinced you are confronted to some to some proto vampire. A missing link between modern vampires and creatures who came before him. Okay. The origin of vampires. Ding. It's locked, all right. Oh. Found a gate to unlock. Very important to unlock these gates. Facilitate movement. Nurse crane. Wait, where is nurse crane? Dear Dorothea, when you read this letter, I will be on a boat to take Antonomy back to Barasov. England was not for us. I confess I cannot wait to see the proud hills of Transylvania. As soon as we are there, I promise I'll light a candle in the Black Church and pray that you survive this terrible epidemic. Though you do not agree with this decision, you are determined to be more useful by helping our comrades exile in the East End, but Anton cannot wait to return to our beloved country to see our long-evaded revolution bloom. He is my husband. I will stay by his side. We had our arguments and our fights, but I know you wanted me to stand by your side and help you manage this clinic of yours, but now I'm leaving England. Be assured that if anything would happen to you, if you're ever in great trouble or danger, I would come back immediately to London, with or without Anton. Please think of... I think of you, your affectionate sister, Theodora. Oh, I got a hint for Dorothy. 
Oh, I've maxed her out. She has a really low mesmerized level. How do I raise my mesmerized level? Um. I need help. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Raz Van Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and Salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing. He's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalp! Hand me that scalp! What can I do, doctor? It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, doctor. None at all. Uh Oh. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. Yeah, I mean, we can bite him. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, Doctor. He doesn't sound human anymore, though. <sighs> He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. I must... first suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! A dose of epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor. Oh shoot, I think he died. Oops. I'm a terrible doctor. We've lost the pulse. He... he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went? Piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. Let's make two puncture wounds in the neck for a tricot. Tracheotomy? I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. So much whoa. Why can I see blood through? Do I owe this courtesy? Um, what? What am I stuck on? 
I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Hmm. Do we think that she's actually responsible for the blackmail, though? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Wow. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime. And it will stop, Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Oh, I don't have enough mesmerized to embrace her. We could try charming her. Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon- Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I'll... I'll let it... Go. Yes. All gone. It's got an achievement called Interview with the Vampire. Take care of Dorothy's fate. Wait, can I not? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going what is happening? Ma'am? Ma'am, I'm gonna ask you to have to stop doing that on stream. What is going on with her skirt? And I char- I charmed her so hard. I- I'm just gonna leave that there. It's locked, alright. I need to clip that for later. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. That's- we're getting into some toss territory, I guess. You've heard of uh, charming the pants off of people. Well, I just... Does it mean by the district will suffer from that? Oh, wait, where did it say that? Oh, shoot, I missed that. I don't know, it's probably because I shuddered. What on earth? Probably because I locked her down. You know the phrase, giving someone the vapus? <laughs> What's going on down? Oh, what the hell? What is Vampire Hunter doing in here? Did they shoot these people? Mmm, delicious. Ow. District will suffer. Yeah, well, she's the, uh, she's the pillar of the district, so...
Oh, there's three more guys. I don't think I will. Dodged into that move. She's got the vipers. <laughs> Hold on, let's. I'm gonna mute it though. Yes, all gone. Okay. Oh, my mesmerized level went up. Oh yeah, it says like right, right there. Ah, shoot. The district will soon suffer the consequences of your action. Consequences could be good things. I just got the vapes. <laughs> oh. oh. I'm sorry, Katie. I didn't know you were down there. Okay. I accidentally booped the kitty. I'm supposed to be able to buy something from Nurse Crane, but. <laughs> she just got the vapors. Oh, fantastic. So my mesmerized level goes went up, so maybe this is a story thing that makes them go up. Okay, here's... Kitty shark check. Good <laughs> evening. My dear colleague. Wait, what are you like so... To see what... Uh... Well, she doesn't really sell anything I'm interested in right off. At least initially. Oh, here we go. Good evening. On the front. A gun? Okay, we need to go... I need to go back to the hospital, I guess. Your screen doesn't want to sell me anything. Nothing will actually, like, change until I sleep for the night. Wait, is this the right way to go back to the... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Da, 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 da. I'm not gonna sleep yet. Look at how much XP I've got that I'm sitting on. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Interesting. Kill it, boy! Ah, shoot. Boss fight, whoa.
Why did it? have to fight two level 14 enemies. Slasher saw hello. Um nom 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 nom. Ow. Fire effect is really annoying. Crosby, what you doing up there? What you doing up there, kitty cat? No, I don't like you up there. That was exciting. Why would they send a hit squad after me? I haven't drained anyone yet. Well, I'm getting increasingly tempted to drain. Okay, we got a lot. Alright, Speed, what you doing, buddy? Kitty. Kitty, you need to get down from there. No, don't eat. He doesn't have any teeth. He likes to gnaw on plastic for some reason. What are you doing, kitty? What's what's her name? Dead flesh. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Come here. Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature, but they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me. But they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that position in mind. Hi, kitty. What you doing, buddy? What you want, kitty cat? Huh? Yeah? Meow? Yeah. Got kitty. Oh. 
You go, where are you going, kitty cat? Trust me, that's cat. He's the black kitty. Black kitty cat. You say hi to camera? You say hi to camera? No? You're just being a nuisance, aren't ya? He's like perched up on my leg. Rubbing up against the keyboard tray. And Maisie's here and she wants attention too. They have to be regularly given pets. Unless they become anxious. She likes to rub her face along my hand. She's got like this weird lip problem. So like she'll rub like basically she's rubbing a tooth along my hand and it's kinda unsettling. Oh there's Maisie girl. Here you go, Maisie. Aww. The happy girl. Then I have this. Clap. Oh, never mind. Uh. Oh, I can mesmerize her now. But do I want to? I kind of want to. Do we do it, guys? Do we mesmerize her now or later? I'll leave you, mistress of the. Fear and disgust on every street. Symptoms of these nurses. Great with no Daily routine. Isn't her story not done yet? I thought it was. I did the investigation thing. Unless there's more. I don't see any more. Unless there's more to it. Um, this is my first playthrough. I will make mistakes, and I will live with them. Quote-unquote mistakes. I've got all of her hints and stuff. But I think we wrapped up her ones. Oh, that's a... I just finished up the investigation. I'm gonna talk to the Lady Ashbury, though. I'm sorry you ended up on my plane and cold medical bench. I... Uh, you're where I'm at in the game? Very To arrange to have you it's locked. With your wife. I hope that might help. Um, I might as well. I think I might embrace them both because I think their blood is both maxed out. Well, no, maybe I'll wait for him to fully recover and then embrace him. I think I'll embrace her tonight because she's healthy. It is my plan to eventually drain everyone. It's going to be a very sad, empty world when I do, though. Okay, where is this person at? Oh. <gasps> I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Hiding your true appetites behind a facade of compassion. Bravo. Very clever indeed. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. We are vampires. We live by leeching the blood from weaker prey. We are Darwin's next chapter. His cynical and perhaps ultimate expression. 
The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady, the blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so, as a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. Oh. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now. <laughs> 27, I shall remain. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Oh. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake? I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. 
I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Oh. A vampire? Is that what I am? Hey, buddy. What we are. Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Are you an Ekon, too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. This is a copy of Twilight word for word. Oh my gosh, is it? I've never read Twilight. I've been reading a different book by the same author. I've been reading The Host and it kind of is boring me, but. How's it going, Mingosh? Thank you for being subbed for 20 months. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society. And like all the best ones, a secret society. Man, I am over time. My I wife read The Host gone, and Twilight. But it seemed they have been recruiting. The Host is just, it feels so long and plotted out. I'm only, I don't even think I'm halfway through. Are there many vampires here? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend Even to like hide, the host. but you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel to let you discover your new condition oh, you really liked by it. yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. Hmm. I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Grimm's patient. Alright. Oh my gosh. I didn't actually get time to embrace someone tonight. You know what, heck it, we'll go a little over time and we'll embrace someone, because I've been putting it off. I like the permanence of your decisions and how they affect the game. Some games claim your choice matters, but this game delivers- Ooh, well I'm just about to make a decision 
that's going to permanently alter the game. Thelma Howcroft. Time has lost its effect on me, but the suffering continues. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doc. Yes, 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 you need blood. Here we go. Uh, okay. This is actually the first time I've embraced someone. It, don't eat her. Oh, we're eating everyone. She's just the first victim. We're going to eat everyone. Because that's what Twitter demanded. Why kill me, brother? We could have ruled this land together and forever. I just got a small key. Small key that belonged to Thelma Hellcraft. Probably used to open a box or small chest. I've just made Yum well you got time of XP. Oh uh, I hear the vampire hunters get tougher too. Sicko. <laughs> I'm going to embrace her friend probably tomorrow night, but he's currently recovering from his illness. We got frisky kitties. Yeah, actually, we're gonna we're gonna finish the night the stream by leveling up. Holy cow! I've got a ton of age, ton of stuff to do. Um, I want more health. Be a lot. Okay. Feel the need to approve. Um... Oh, I could get an ultimate rage. Do I want blood boil or do I want abyss? Oof. Some abilities are so powerful they need vampires for them. Abyss is one of them. The vampire concentrates summoning shadows in their purest, darkest form. Shadows capture the vampire's brain toys with it, like a cat with a mouse after a brief moment to shadow strike and play in their prey. Because of its dark nature, this type of ability cannot be used too often. Even a powerful vampire is terrified to be seized by the tendrils of darkness. That was a thousand. Sure. We now have an ultimate. I'm gonna level these. Oh wow, I'm already. I went up to level 11 just from that. Do I have enough to upgrade both of these? I'll upgrade Shadow Mist. Upgrade Blood Spear. Oh, the cost goes down and the damage goes up. Does this cost go down? No, it stays the same. Increased range and damage. Oh, deal much less damage, but it returns blood. I don't know. I think I may go for increased damage. Larger AoE. Is there anything else I can get? I could get more stamina. I could do more bite damage. Actually, more bite damage might be so bad. 
get one of more bite damage. Wow, I'm level f oh wow, I jumped five levels because I had so much XP I was sitting on. Hey. Following night. Disappearances in Whitechapel. Uh oh. Reach the point where witnesses have to queue before recounting their testimonies. For what appears to be. Eh. Once more, a despise and loathe East End is left to struggle on its own, continuously overlooked by the authorities while numerous. Oh, they closed the dispensary. Oops. Okay, he still has a migraine. The choice concerning the community pillar had been reported to the press. Oh no, he went away! Shoot, I wanted to drain him next. So I have to I have to drain everyone in a circle, it looks like. <laughs> Night, Tyler! Level 14! Alright. We have made... a very... dangerous decision, probably. Uh, we're gonna forego raiding because... I am at I am overtime and my kitty needs his medicine. I will be back on Monday with some more World of Warcraft leveling up the Unholy Paladin. Oh, Unholy Paladin. Holy Death Knight, what am I saying? And then Tuesday and Thursday will be more of this vampire. We'll run around with our newfound power and probably. Oh boy. Probably get into more trouble as we continue to drain people. I was hoping I could drain him too, but it looks like he just decided to up and vanish. So next time we need to drain everyone in a circle before we choose to drain someone. I mean, it's my first playthrough, live and learn, right? Okay. I think that's everything. Everyone have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging out and for lurking. And remember, you matter. You're wanted.